Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video we will see how you can use a content library as an instructor in WizIQ. So the very first step is you will log into the platform as an instructor. The moment you log into the platform you can see the list of courses as the landing page and on the top left menu option you can see the first option is library. In order to get started with uploading of the content you can find the button on the bottom right wherein you can either create a folder or you can upload a new file. Let us first get started with creation of a new folder. It will ask for a title. Once you have named your folder you will click on create and you will get a message that folder has been created. So this is the folder which we have just created. If I click on the folder then right now you can see this is empty but I can also start adding our content within the folder. You also have an option that you can create folder inside a folder. So in WizIQ platform, we allow three level of subfolders. For now, we will upload a file within this folder. Once I click on upload file, you see there are a list of resources from where we can upload the content. We will use few of them one by one. Let's get started with uploading the content from the desktop computer. Once you have chosen the file, you will click on upload and you will see that your file will get uploaded within this particular folder inside a content library. You can also see the date on which the content was uploaded and it also shows you the corresponding status. So right now you can see your file is being processed. It will be available soon. So depending upon the size of your file, it will take certain number of minutes in order to process that file and make it available for the usage. Similarly, let's go ahead and create a subfolder inside this folder and now we have an option that we can enter inside the subfolder. We'll go back to the upload file again and this time we will choose a different option. Let's say I want to pull my content from Google Drive. So I will have to click on connect Google Drive. I will log in using my credentials. It will ask you to click on allow so that you can fetch the content from the Google Drive. So let's say this is the content which I want to choose and I will click on upload. And the moment I click on upload, you will see that a file which was there on the Google Drive has now been uploaded under my content library. Again, you can see there is a pending status for this, but once it gets processed in WizIQ servers, then it will become available for the consumption. So within the content library, you as an instructor can upload various kinds of content, which includes PPT, PPTX, Excel sheets, document files, PDF files, audio files and video files. And in case you want to filter your content on the basis of a specific file type, then you can click on this filters option. You can choose the file which you want to filter and click on apply. And then you will see that the corresponding content files will get listed on your screen. Once you are done, you can remove the filter and click on apply again and you will come back to your original screen. If you want to delete your any of the folders or files, then you can select them using this checkbox. Click on delete and finally confirm in order to remove them from the content library. We also have an option wherein we can sort the files and the folders on the basis of names or on the basis of dates as well as on the basis of status. If you want to make any changes on the existing folder then you can click on this particular option and there you will find an option of renaming it. Once we have put up the new title you will click on OK and you will get a message that folder has been renamed. Similarly, if you want to make any changes on the files, then again you will go to the option and once you click on the option, either you can edit the file or you can download the file. Let's click on the first option which is edit. So you have an option where you can enter a title, you can enter a description and you can decide whether you want this file to be downloadable for the users or not. Once you have done your settings, you will click on save and those particular settings will get applied for that particular file. So this is all about the content library. Let's do a quick overview. You will log into the platform as an instructor. You will click on the library option. Once you click on the library option, you get to see the list of folders and the content files which you have already created. But if you want to upload a new file, you will go to the bottom right and either create a new folder or you will upload a new file. As I mentioned, the files can be a PPT, document file, PDF, Excel sheet, 
audio file or a video file and if you are creating a folder then you can create three levels of folders you have sorting options via name date and status and along with that you can also manage your content by applying different filters depending upon a particular file type thank you so much for watching this video i hope that uh, this video will help you in order to upload and manage the content within vizyq content library